Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dr. Cloud here, and welcome back to a, another episode of the Pokemon Emerald, a randomized nuzzle. And you might notice a slight change to the layout. In the last episode, I managed to catch an Eevee. I thought I'd go ahead and add an Eevee. So we're going to do a quick team recap, because I cranked up a little bit on some extra trainers that I had lying around. So, for start, we have Surya, Combustion, Battle Bowl 28, with Bulk Up, Ember, Double Feet, and Tech. We have Nancy, the Bigger Rock, with Strength, Poison Tail, Arm Thrust, and Cut. Then we have Tamrat, the Jolteon, with Quick Tech, Revenge, Helping Hand, and Sand Attack. We have Scarlet, the Slowpoke, with Confusion, Yawn, Water Gun, and Curse. And then we have Bobby, the Kabutops, with Scratch, Mudshot, Meditate, and Absorb. And finally we have our starter, Bat, the Dugong, with Headbutt, Aurora Beam, Rest, and Recycle. Alright guys, today we will be running around here trying to figure out what to do. Okay, what we're probably going to do is we are going to make it to Loveridge Town. And we might have a gem, depending on how fast we get through everything we're doing here. So, if you guys are lost for a I will link the playlist in the description below for you all to get caught up on. It's been a uh, time pretty recently. I feel like I am just surprised as you are with most of the stuff that's been happening recently. And I'm honestly not sure. Alright, right, I'm going to meet your balls. That's right. I was just a little bit lost where I needed to go. <laughs> That's fine. Hmm. What'd you say? I was. I came to the realization that I forgot to plug my mic in. Hey, what's up guys? Dr. Claude here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. And you might notice a couple changes to the layout. Um, at the end of the last episode, I had caught an Eevee, and I decided that I'm going to go ahead and add it to the team. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick team recap, because I went back and uh, fought some extra trainers uh, that I skipped on other routes to get grinded up. So first of all, we have Surya the Combuskin with Ember, Double Kick, Peck, and Bulk Up. And we have Nancy the Vigoroth with Strength, Poison Tail, Arm Thrust, and Cut. And we have Tamrat the Jolteon with Quick Attack, Revenge, Helping Hand, and Quick Attack. And we have Scarlet the Slowpoke with Confusion, Yawn, Water Gun, and Curse. And we have Bobby the Kabutops with Scratch, Mudshot, Meditate, and Absorb. And finally, we have the starter that you guys chose, Bat the Dugong, with Headbutt, Aurora Beam, Rest, and Recycle. And today, we will be making our way through Meteor Balls, and hopefully making it to Lava Ridge Town. And if you're lost to where we are, I will link my playlist in the description below for you guys to get caught up on and enjoy all of the sad, funny, and exciting moments that we can all experience together. But now, let's make it to Meteor Falls. Look, it's clickable. You know, I, I kind of like the fact that uh, they say clickable comes from space. It just doesn't really make a ton of sense, but at the same time it does, because clearly there are other planets in Pokemon Universe that have Pokemon on them, because you also have Deoxys that comes from space. And I feel like there's another one that does. I guess Jirachi kind of does? Because it comes in the form of a meteorite? 
maybe it is a baby Pokemon from something else. You know, the information we're given, we can make a lot of very interesting assumptions for what actually exists in the Pokemon universe. But it will never matter what we actually say, because they'll never confirm what we have to say. Yeah. With this meteorite, that thing in Mount Chimney will... Heh. I don't know who you are, but if you don't get in the, if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Sorry. Technical difficulties, guys. And we're back. Okay. Let's take on this Team Magma member. Hold it right there! Oh, no. Hold it right there, Team Magma. You're bad and mistaken if you think you can have that kid. <laughs> even Team Aqua joins us. But it's too much trouble to deal with you all. It doesn't matter. We got the meteorite. So off the Mount Chimney. He's seeing you. Dingbats. Did you see... Didn't I see you before at the Slateport Museum? Oh, your name's Doc. At the time, I thought you were one of the Team Magma goons. You're one odd kid. Team Magma's a dangerous group and total fanatics. They engage in destruction, claiming to expand land mess. They're all rivals to us, see loving Team Aqua. Boss, we should get chased to Team Magma. Yes, we must, let's go. No telling where they're, what they'll do. You should keep an eye out for Team Magma too. Very well. I feel like in other games you actually have to battle them. I feel like that's a more exciting way to do it. Oh boy, Let's see what else I can get here besides Eevee. Or not. Hmm, interesting. I had a ball toy. Ball toy is kind of power. I don't think currently I have a psychic type. I don't. Oh, I do. I have a uh, Scarlet. Even though Scarlet's adamant, so. Kind of just destroys the fact of any move that it normally learns. Ooh. Maybe I don't need to keep running into Pokemon then. This is a little bit annoying, just constantly running into stuff. So I know I'm not going to fight it. Yeah, I think I will go ahead and get Surya the cleanse tag for now. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's an item over here in this crater, but I can't quite remember. Pretty sure that uh, cleanse tag normally decreases in uh, the chance of encounters. Nope. Nope. I guess I will just make my way down Route 115. Okay, I did get encounter on Scott already because I skipped around. I don't think I have Rock Smash on me currently.
Alright, so let me jump over to the question of the day here. So, question of the day is, would you rather age from the neck up or the neck down only? So I thought about this question, and I thought, is it starting from like when you're a baby or when you reach like a certain age? And I think what I came to was that like, I feel like at a certain age it would start because if you're like a baby, and you either have a baby face or a baby body. So neither of those really made a ton of sense because either you can't really walk or you have a baby face and no teeth for your entire life. So I guess it start probably probably at an age of maturity like 18 is whenever it'd probably start. And if it's gonna be like that, I think I'd rather I think I'd rather just have my face age, because that's the age that you reach maturity, and if just my face is aging, really, then my body will stay healthier at that point, rather than slowly destroying itself. But. Let me know what your answer is in the comment section down below. I'm sure it's different than mine, or you might have a different interpretation of the question. That's the way I thought of it, because it just it doesn't make any sense if you're gonna have baby body or baby head. It's like you can't eat real food, or you can't walk. And neither of those seem like good options. I'm getting really tired of poison now. Poison is just one of those really annoying things that you can't get away from. Nancy's gonna be powering this team all the way through. 100% promise it. This lantern's just throwing my, the fact that I lost bulbs in my face right now. That actually didn't do that much. It beat damage and it was down to a quarter of its health. I think Flail would work a little bit better. You know, I kind of like in second gen games, they actually ask you, hey, do you want my number? Instead of just taking your Pokenav from your bag and just putting it in themselves. You know, it doesn't seem... It seems a little insensitive, actually. You clearly want my number because like, you beat me. So I kind of wish it was like um, Insurgents, where certain moves had the same effect as HM moves. So like, I use Arm Thrust on this rock and it breaks it. Interesting. Very interesting teams. To me, that Absol is a lot scarier than that Dust Ox. So... Actually, I feel like Combustion's gonna obliterate it. So, let's do that. So close. Now, does the second one hit the Dust Hawks, or should it hit the next Pokemon that comes out? Or does it only hit once? Hits the next Pokemon that comes out. Which is gonna obliterate that thing, too. Oh, no, it doesn't. Did not do a lot for being super effective. Wow. 
feel like in order to be countered at this point, people are going to have to have really, really good teams. Which, now that I said it, it's probably going to be like the next gym leader. Is just going to have... Kyogres. Just straight Kyogres. So I really don't have anything to counter that. Best thing I have, I think, is Absorb on Kabutops. Kabutops is about to get one-shotted by a Water Pulse in the rain. Oh boy, I got a Heal Powder. Okay, um... So I need to go to Mount Chimney. Which I guess I'll go this way to do it. Why not? We're down here and heal a second and probably pick up some repels because that'll save time whenever we're actually going. You know, let me ask you guys something. So, do you guys use X items whenever you do uh, playthroughs? Because I never do. Like, I know they're useful, but I just don't know how to use them properly, I feel like. And I know, like, they're really broken, especially in the early generations, but I always just sell them for money. Because that's all I feel they're actually needed for is money. Like, okay, so I have, like, an special. I'm going to sell it, because I don't no good time to use it, and honestly, I don't have very good special attacking Pokemon. They have super potions here, but they still have regular repels. Makes sense. Okay. Let's go. Gotta blare that bike music out your car. I don't remember what I'm looking for now. Or I'm looking for Merkel. You guys ever do that? Like you walk in like your kitchen or something, you're like, man, what was I doing? And you remember like after you walk back to your room and you're like, oh yeah, I was looking for like this paper or something. Cause I do it all the time and it's super annoying but there's not a lot you can really do about it it's like just your mind just spacing out I'm gonna switch bikes because I'm pretty sure up here it's more beneficial for you to get the have the acro bike because there are a few hidden, or not hidden items, but items you can't get to unless you have the acro. Oops, it's already selected. I know later on, oh wait, if I go this way I actually need rock smash. Mm. I need Nuzleaf. Trouble with having Pokemon you don't want to learn HMs. This Rock Smash isn't that beneficial to anyone on my team, because they all have better fighting type attacks. Or just don't need fighting type attacks. I'm trying to find something that I really just want to add to the team. Maybe it would be the Legend Encounter. Who knows? Me. I'm popping a wheelie. I'm a cool kid. It's like this kid to see uh, riding around on those like BMX bikes that clearly are like, too small for them to actually sit on. They have to stand all the time. I kind of feel a little bit bad for them. It's like, first of all, riding a bike is kind of hard enough because, you know, bike seats aren't the most comfortable things in the world. Unless, you know, you gotta get a custom bike seat, but, anyways. But they can't even sit down. Why can I not run for this thing right now? 
my actually not faster than a gold duck. I'm nine levels above it. There we go. Jeez. I wish I could do a wheelie though. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I also get an encounter um, going down the path. And I can't remember what it is. Or what that path is called. I don't feel like it's a route. I feel like it's some kind of path. There's a lot of like Pokemon on just like it's there, but it's like very fuzzy in my head. And I feel like that's the issue, especially after playing through for so long, is that you just kind of start spacing out on little details. It's like, oh wait, they changed that typing or they changed that resistance in this generation? Or you haven't played the early gens in a while and you just get bodied by stuff because you don't remember certain things. Like, uh, oh, it's in first gen, like... I think it's that Ghost doesn't affect Psychic, and that's its only weakness besides Bug. I mean, it's not like there were even that many like Ghost-type moves, there was like Lick and Nightshade. And the only Ghost-types were bodied by Psychic-types anyways. <laughs> Look at that, there's Kyogre. So I definitely can't leave Surya in, because Surya is going to get blown away by one Water Pulse. Um, I should throw in Fat, but... I don't feel like that Onyx is really going to do anything. Well, I guess most has a Ground-type move and destroys Tamrat. Yep, there's Water Pulse. Yep. That still does a lot. So I feel like if I quick attack and use strength into Kyogre, it should take it out. Awesome. Wow. Get all that damage. Oh, you only had one. Okay, that's cool. Alright, three isn't bad, Nancy. It's not bad. Now, am I slower than Nonix? Yes, I am. But, it makes revenge work better. Even if I get Tamrat a special attacking move, it's not going to be fantastic because it's, his stats getting lowered anyways. Like, I'm actually kind of curious what his stats are currently, because I'm pretty sure his special attack is still higher, it's just not as good as it could be. Yeah. So it's just getting lowered right now. Alright, come on. Not another Kyogre. Oh, I just realized the irony of, uh, one of the Team Magma Grunts of having a Kyogre. That'd be so clever though. Like, you just have one of your secret Grunts holding on to the thing that your rivals are looking for. You'd obviously think, like, the leader would have it, but... They just psych you out with that. I just want Surya to be a Blaziken. I'm just ready for that layout change, just exploding fire. Okay, can't really fight Polytub. That's one thing I don't have is really a grass type. You know, grass types can be very helpful. I just cover most of the weaknesses. Like if Jolteon actually had a uh, electric type move, then I think I'd cover basically all the weaknesses. Or all the strengths I guess that grass would cover. Because I have water 
and water basically covers most of what uh, grass can hit, and gosh, I am just spacing out so hard right now. <clears throat> Anyways, series about to hit level 30, so we're just six levels away from that. Fantastic, amazing Blaziken. Oh, I'd be so happy to get a, uh, se a Sceptile. I would smack that thing like dead on the team, even though he's a better attacker and doesn't get the moves for it, he's worth it. I just smack him on. Hmm. Only got six more levels, let's go. Aww. This little Cleffa. Cleffa's about to get blown back right now. You know, I didn't realize you can just like, whenever you go and pick up the Meteor, you can just like walk away without it. And then you have to like, come back and get it later on. Alright, one more. Nice. Arm Thrust is the most reliable move, but I feel like Nancy's really getting the hang of it. I just need to get, um, a skill link on it, where it hits like five times. Is done his job. I like to have my party over in a certain way, like in training aspect, so I know who's next in my lineup. Oh, the power contained in this meteorite, By amplifying its power with this machine. Not chimney's volcanic activity will instantly intensify. This energy will grow deep inside the crater and. Fuh, 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 fuh. Hmm, who are you? I heard Archie bemoaning a child who's been meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. It must be you, he meant. Hmm. You th so you think you're interfering with us, Team Magma? Now you listen. Long ago, living, living things used to grow, used the land to live and grow. This is why land is an all important. It is the crater, cradle of all. That is why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of the landmass. It is for future advancement of humankind in Pokemon. And for that, we need the power of what sleeps within this mountain. Oh, what? There's no need for you to learn that much. But no matter, I'll teach you the consequences of meddling in our grand design. Like, in reality, like, Max, you'd have, like, more of a... Interesting, he doesn't wear glasses in this, and, uh, I'm pretty sure in the remakes they had him do that, because that's where they put his, uh, Megastone. If I remember right. Interesting that Poison Tail has the same animation that, like, Steel Wing does. That's a Raikou. Okay. I guess I think it's like strength it. Isn't Raikou like the best of the legendary dogs who has the best special attack? And since you get like bite and like thunder shock and etc. moves, because Lyra doesn't serve them a purpose at all, because they don't really get physical moves. I feel like he's actually gonna heal here, so. Yep. Ooh! I see you there, Nancy. Leader of the evil team only has super potions. Dang, Nancy. You're not having it. Still paralyze me? Alright. <laughs> Just not very fully paralyzed? There we go. Okay. That's fine. Thank you, Raikou. And a Pupdar. So his ace is 25. So, I'm a little bit above them right now. 
But I feel like it's going to even out really quick, especially if I just start running through uh, gym leaders. Wow, this thing has a pretty good defense. I have to like all five both times to be able to knock this thing out. Uh, I guess four times works, depending on the rolls I get. No para. Kinda sad that I'm. Oh no, I'm not slower than people. Tired. It's just. Okay. Slow down there. Oh, jeez. That did so much damage. Oh my gosh. That's really fitting that he's a poet. But, enough. I will back off this time. But don't think that this is the last time you've seen Team Magma. Fa 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 fa. Even without the meteorite, if we obtain the orb. Fa 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 fa. Doc. Thank you. With your help, we thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. But you, whose side are you on? Oh, it doesn't matter. We will remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Magma. We shall meet again. Okay. Yeah, I got Jirachi. I'm just kidding, though. Um, I opened the wrong thing. So the wrong thing. Uh, let me use Bobby to catch something that runs down this route. I'm gonna try to dodge the trainers just a little bit. be honest, I'm actually not mad about this, because um, I was doing a soloing with a friend of mine, and he actually um, had to use a Plusle through the Pokemon League, and that Plusle and an Illumise carried him through the League more than his Kingdra did. And it was actually amazing. I like to look back on it and realize how good some things actually are. Just because they're not used very often doesn't mean they're not good. Why do hearts come out of a nest ball? Cool. Alright. At a meeting of Pokemon academics, it was announced that simultaneous exposure to electricity from a puzzle and a mine-in will promote circulation and boost vitality. Interesting. That could be very helpful with, like, depression cases. Ah. Mine-in's name will be Hawken. Might be pronounced differently, but that's my best. Alright, I'm probably gonna... Oh, I don't have to fight him. Just turn back around. Turn back around. Oh. He got me. He juked me out. Ooh. Come at me, Pineco. Uh, I'm gonna meditate. I wish I could raise my attack, like, two times. Wow, that does nothing. <laughs> wow. Anko does not have the best attack stat. Let's 
one way to do it. Lombre? I think Lombre has water gun, but I don't think it actually gets a grass type move. For whatever reason, honestly. Like, I don't know why it wouldn't. Oh, does get absorbed. Can I kill it though with the scratch? Ow. Um. Oh, they're on serious. Even a decent water gun shouldn't do too much to him. Alright, it's four fine. We're fine. Just got hit with a peck and it's gone. Easy. Alright guys. We're getting right in here to Olaf Ridge, like I did say we would. And now we are going to run over here and Okay. I wanna to get to say before we end off. But if you guys have enjoyed this little run through that hot mountain and enjoyed my more than average commentary, then please consider liking and subscribing to this video and subscribing to me for this video. And if you wish to know when these videos go up, I will link my Twitter in the description below for you to follow that as well. And let me just get to say real quick. And remember guys, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, so please have a banana.